Paul and Dave from Bell X1. Welcome to our little um, 80s style uh, studio yeah. roadcaster. It's really grubby around here. You know? it's, it's cleaned it's, up. Sorry, man. hang on. Well, where am I thinking? Uh, let me find a bin and I'll put that in there. Um, so look, one of my memories of Oxygen, uh, one of my main memories, one of my fond memories of Oxygen is uh, probably around three years ago, possibly four, walking down to the main stage and seeing this mass of humanity on the stage and you guys were on, on stage at the time. Is this kind of a, like in almost a homecoming for you? It, it, it's my, we've, we've played our very first festival ten years ago and it was the Witness Festival which is the precursor to this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we've played here maybe every two years since. So it's, yeah, I think we, it, it's special in that we, I think we feel that we always uh, when we play here we get the sense that, that people who've seen us in different parts of the country over the past year are all gathered in the one mucky field, <laughs> you know, at the same time. So it's, yeah, it's, it's always been really special. You've been over in, in America uh, quite a bit and you're going to head back, I believe, as well. Um, I hear reports that people I know who've been over there have been hearing Bell X1 on the radio. That must be a bit of a thrill because not too many Irish bands, bar the big obvious ones, have cracked radio in America, but you seem to be... Like the Crystal Swing and stuff? Perhaps. <laughs> Bit of a thrill, though. Yeah, no, it's great. We were actually we were traveling. F uh, I can't remember where we were coming from or going to, but we actually heard the Great Defector on the radio once, and uh, that was that was quite a moment when we were in transit. But yeah, America's America's been great. It's it's such an exciting place to go and disappear into for you know three or four weeks at a time. We we normally spend there. We're going over again. We we did an acoustic run around Ireland um, a few years back. Uh, myself, Paul, and Dom. So we're going to go back and do another tour there for three weeks in uh, November, isn't it? October, yeah. October. We're going over to the states. I think. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's 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 fantastic, and you know, people are really really open minded, and you know, the Bell X One sound is kind of it's a bit of this, it's a bit of that, it's a bit of the other. You know, it's it's kind of diverse. It's we are that you know just by nature accidentally and they're, they're really really open-minded and accepting of that rather than they're a band who don't know what they are or you know like say in a scene like the uk scene we wouldn't uh we don't fit neatly into a pigeonhole so um, say, you've <laughs> never quite been embraced by, by the uk but yeah again when you go over to america and they kind of almost take you on as one of their own that, that must be pretty pretty gratifying yeah it has been i mean we only We've only really been there for the last two or three years, so we've kind of really compacted uh, a lot of kind of the, the last two records came out within you know nine ten months of each other there, so it was it was like a you know we seemed very prolific, I suppose for there. Um, whereas like Flock had come out here a couple of years before it came out in in the states, but yeah, it's 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 what we've always you know we wanted you know you, you you're in a band and you. You just when part of what we do, why we do what we do, is to get out and see the world, and especially to tour in America. It's just, it's it's been, a, you know, a real eye opener. Yeah. And are you looking forward to getting back to Mel's Diner in LA for an avocado burger? <laughs> an avocado burger. They rock, man. Celebrity spotting while you're chomping on your yeah avocado burger, yeah. Avocado. I, I don't know. We 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 met uh, the band Anvil when oh, we were cool, cool. Okay. in 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 Mel's Diner, and uh, that was. Certainly, one of the one of the high points of of last year's touring. So, what's next? Like, you managed to squeeze in solo albums. I don't know where you get your time. Anyway, I'm not even going to go there. You just, I don't know how. how time machine. Tardis. 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 perhaps. Yeah. And <laughs> um, what's next for you guys? Is it another studio album? Uh, there, obviously, there's a tour, an American tour, um, coming up too. But uh, there's got to be a, another studio album on the horizon somewhere. Yeah, we actually start tomorrow. Tomorrow we go down to a studio called Grouse Lodge in Westmead and uh, and we're there for a month and we'll see what happens. But we're hoping that this one will be like a short, swift affair. So we should yeah, probably put a exciting. wager on that actually. Yeah. <laughs> With each other. Yeah. It's a fine, you get yeah. the late fines. So at least somebody comes out on top. <laughs> you know? Brilliant. Well, listen, guys, great to see you again, and we're looking forward to hearing the new album. Looking Thanks, forward to hearing the set too, maybe with a few new songs. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try a new song today. So we uh, the the la the first time we played the Great Defector was at Oxygen two years ago. So that went well, and we're hoping, you know, because new songs at festivals sometimes isn't what people want to hear. Hmm. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna feel the fear and do it anyway. Groovy.
Thanks a million. Cheers, Dan.